Hello folks, hi, how are you doing? Well, have you have seen for a, a couple like, for like so many long time there, since 2003 a supersonic jetliner called the Concorde, like look like this one that I have already shown you in the picture, would you fly the Concorde when it returns? So, as my suggestion of seeing, of seeing that this airplane, this airplane, the Concorde, it is produced in the United Kingdom and France. You know, the British ingenuity, you know, this is the, Con the Concorde. The Concorde are, it goes around 1,500... Hundred and all right. I, I think yeah, Concorde plane. The Concorde plane ra goes around fifth, around fifteen hundred and thirty miles per hour. I mean, well, it, if it is, if you just looking at my phone, I'm, I'm putting it in on, on this HTC. I'm recording it from a Nikon. You know, it is. Put it, let's say, for instance, the Concorde is one of the fastest airliners. It goes up, uh, and as I'm looking on on this and this thing, it says, "All right, it says in there." I, I'm, I'm using my phone, but it says. Uh, Thirteen hundred and fifty miles per hour. That's how how much the Concord goes. And the Concord run, runs about thirteen thirteen hundred and fifty miles per hour. Well, there was a Russian plane that goes like fifteen hundred and twenty. This is thirteen hundred and yeah, forty miles per hour. Thirteen hundred. Well, this is the Concorde is so Franco as it's a British and French collaboration of an airplane that is made in France and is made in Britain and is made in France of the greatest of British ingenuity marvel that that it went to uh, thirteen hundred and fifty miles per hour, forty two miles per hour. Let's say that what I'm saying there that. When it returns back, it has been retired since 2003. Kind of like I heard about Virgin is coming out with this company called Boom. Boom, in the other hand, was planning to get a Concorde similar that is not going to be the same. But the actual Concorde, the actual Concorde airplane, was used to be made in two countries back in the 80s. It was made in... The UK and it was made in France. You know, top British ingenuity for that time. Two Rolls Royce, Rolls Royce engines. Yeah, I'll call. And it went out of the speed of life and does until you Concorde stops. Top speed is yeah. It's a, if I'm right, I have to be put it this. Yeah, Concorde. Thirteen hundred and fifty-four miles per hour. An airplane that goes thirteen hundred and fifty-four miles per hour will most likely, and most likely, the odds may be is that we ever did fly the Concorde again. This time, they might be made in Asia. I think this is gonna be something. That is that? How would the Concorde gonna look like? I think it's not gonna be made. Is Virgin ain't gonna make it? Well, it is and it is. You wanna compare apples to oranges? Now with the 787 Boeing, and you got it versus the Concorde. Well, it will, the newer ones they will make it faster. 
and I don't know about safety. It would be not the same as their British and French made counterparts. So, what it is, I'm gonna show you some how the Concord gonna look like. Well, that is actually a Concorde, you know, that promoted Pepsi, but that's how the, con the newer Concords are going to look like. It's not going to say Pepsi. They're going to all look like that because, I mean, there's only one country in the world that have a flag that look like a Pepsi logo in there. It is going to be like kind of like kind of odd to see this Concorde, you know, is not being made in Europe, the first Asian-made Concorde. Well, most likely seem to have kind of, kind of this odd question that says, well, would I fly the Concorde? Would I have to go from LAX to Seoul and fly the Concorde? Well, people, just tell me some of you people out there, if you have any questions or anything, this like if I'm going to hop in the Concord when they bring it back, fellas, don't ever get me all this bigotry and tell me, oh, you know what, I'm gonna kick his ass. They're gonna they talk bad about us or whatever or this guy. No, not just saying. I'm just saying. I am just. I'm just against politically correct people with all these nonsense sure I'm not saying that I would say somebody that I said oh yeah like I can remember random Yoko saying oh dear Korean people yeah what if I have just landed right on the Concord that you guys make on the newer ones that means yeah, but then, guess what? My stepsister gave me some goodies from you guys. Oh, well. This is Xinjiang noodle. Kind of like Korean dish. Try to try that. And this is a Nushin ramen noodle. It says that this is a really great one. Even though these are made in the U.S. I don't know if you get in the originals from the first time. For the second, for the Concord second launch, you get the goodies made in the original country from that company. And this, technically, in, in flying the Concord, <clears throat> you know, most likely that I'm seeing that, I would say, what if I fly the Concord? Yeah, sure. You people, you folks, I love you guys, right? And this is most likely you have Sai, you have all these all these guys from over there and the drama and the Korean dramas, K dramas, you know, K pop, whatever it is, right? <laughs> of course. I'm not saying that if I would be you know the risk of this safety, I don't know if that newer Concords would be going dirt. 1,354 miles an hour than their British and May counterparts. Maybe they might do it faster. Newer engines with more commodities. You know, faster. I don't know if it's safer. But, in a way, you have to take a risk on it. You know, maybe you're going to risk lives. I think at least, if it, at least if it's going to Tokyo to LAX and it's made in Japan, then it'll be like 100% seal of proof of safety and Qantas would get that 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 but if not, but I think it's not gonna be that way but you know either that you know it's not gonna be like the you know the accident wasn't a French made one Air France I could remember the, in 2003 I mean in the year 2000 and they retired in 2003 but guess what I'm just saying I'm willing I'm willing to to fly in a Concord. But let's just say 
the absolute truth. But what we're we gonna do? Concord, and we're gonna have another. We're gonna have Concord versus another plane. Concord versus the Boeing 787. Oh well, when it comes to speed, the Concorde wins hands down. Even though the new ones will be actually was going to be manufactured by KAI when they bring the Concorde back, and it's going to be faster than their older counterparts. It will go like 1,400 miles per hour. Then the Concorde wins hands down is because you would imagine like take a flight from Seoul to LAX quicker or from Seoul to New York. You know, that's what it is. You know, flying the Concorde when it returns. It's not going to be made by uh, made in Britain or in France or in France is going to be Korean made. So Concord win on speed, even though the British and French made counterparts goes 1,354 miles an hour, still faster than the 787. Well, when it comes to speed, Concord Concord wins. Even the newer ones, when it comes to safety. Hands down to hands. The hands down goes to the Boeing 787. It goes. It goes to the Boeing 787, and I will give you hands down to the Boeing 787. And let me tell you why. Because the 787 is made by Boeing. It's American made, and besides all the flaws that have happened with. Most likely with Japanese airlines about the battery and all that stuff. And then Boeing knows how to fix those problems and they get it right and they do it and and then you know safe and then everything's go right like every Boeing aircraft that goes to safety standards. Then then safety goes to the Boeing 787. Well, it is. Tell you why is because the Boeing 787, you know, they know what they're doing. They know what they're doing is an aircraft made by Boeing, an American company. This, this is why I have more trustworthy on an American company than on a Korean company when it comes to a safer aircraft. Then I would say this, even though the the Concorde. But what is just if I was mistakenly, then the on Concord said, I mean, the Concord would might be safer if they have a flight from Tokyo, Japan to New York City and they're make them my Mitsubishi. Then it'll be a Volvo and a Ferrari putting one in the air. That's true, that's just a matter of fact, but it's not gonna be like that. Then the Concorde will have a better chance of getting a crash of any failures, even though with all this new and improved stuff, you know, they're like everybody's gonna crash, and then again, the Concorde is gonna retire sooner, like their British and French made counterparts has done back in the 80s when they still were running. But in a way, I could tell you that is that you know what else to my concern about safety if I want to fly from uh, catch a flight from New York to Tokyo then then versus taking a flight from New York to Seoul then I'll take the 787 from New York to Tokyo and and then I'll be like safer even though versus 12 hours risking danger on a on a Korean made Concorde versus the safety on an American made Boeing 787 being safer even though le longer hours 
you know, taking longer and safer way, and I'll choose the Concord. I mean, I'll choose the Boeing 787 over a Korean-made version of the Concord, manufactured by KAI, going to Seoul and risking my life, and then that's and that's what it is. Other than that, you know, I might just say I will take the risk riding the Concord when it returns, when it comes back, is even though it looks exactly like what it says, like the ones in the Pepsi, but this time it's going to say it's Korean Air and, and stuff, then after that, you know, when you want to you know, just go ahead and, you know, in, in, you know, flirt on the on those flight attendants in the Concorde, you know, even, even though Korean chicks could be hot and and, and cute and, and stuff, and then, yeah, go ahead, but, you know, what the, what, what, what the heck, you know, you go with flirt the flight attendants if you are in this Asian fetish in, in the, on the Concorde, well, other than that, you know, you'll stay tuned for more videos, and I'm sorry to say that if you enjoyed my video on the Iowa 80 truck stop, please, please see it, you know, please subscribe to my channel and press the subscribe button. Don't forget to press that subscribe button. So I'm not going to be doing in, in my random mic channel, you know, all this, you know, riding, you know, the train and the metro, on the metro rail to the airport and other than that, you know, I, I have this plan for that cool video and it's going to come up do, soon in random mig. but then after all, you know, stay tuned, I'm going to post more videos here in Embargo Man and other, and other ones that I have in mind, so... Stay safe, people, even though if you're waiting for the second launch of the Concord, you know, you're riding it, please, just notice it. It's not the same as their British and French-made counterparts. These newer Concords might be faster, goes 1,400 miles per hour, and then you could ride it, yeah, you take the risk of your life and ride it, you know, it might be more failure, yes, it's a Korean company. But you know you have uh, you but you have for safety reasons you don't want to ride the Concorde you could ride the 787. You know if I'm wrong about which one would be if the Concorde made by KAI would be safer than the Boeing 787. Who might knows? Just take the risk on riding it. You know I will say goodbye, peace out. You know you know don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye.